Hello and welcome to the Drawing Room Experts. This is me, Zabe, and with me I have Zan uh, with yet another music episode. Um, and today we're talking, we're talking you too, Zan. How's it going? Good. I know, nothing like talking about uh, music an hour away from you know breaking your fast, but <laughs> we're here. Guess it. This is day three, right? This is day two. Day two. अच्छा तुम्हारा एक दिन लेट हाँ नो का एक दिन पहले स्टार्ट हो गया तुम्हारा हाँ अच्छा 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 हाँ हमारा यार वो बड़ा लास्ट लास्ट मिनट में अनाउंसमेंट हुई थी हाँ ओह या दैट्स व्हाट आई हर्ड तो कैसा चल रहा है यार सब गुड आई मीन आई थिंक फाइनली इट्स टेक अ कपल डेज टू गेट इनटू द ग्रुप ऑफ इट बट नॉट बैड हाँ यार सेम मेरा भी लाइक डे थ्री आई थिंक बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस वीक इट विल प्रॉपर्ली बी अ मच मोर ऑफ अ रूटीन थिंग या एक्सेक्टली बट आई एम लाइक थ्री आवर्स अवे सो आई एम काइंड ऑफ एनवीइंग यू राइट नाउ क्योंकि तुम बहुत करीब हो उस वक्त आई एम लाइक या आई एम लाइक अंडर एन आवर अवे ऑलमोस्ट देयर तो हमारा तो अभी टाइम है अभी तो एनीवे तो फॉर दिस एपिसोड यू नो मे मे गिव लेट मी गिव यू अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ अ बैकग्राउंड एज टू व्हाई आई एम डूइंग दिस अम so as you know i i i love the band you two and and you know i've, I've done an episode on it uh, i'm sure my friends and my my office colleagues couldn't really uh, be tired enough uh, to hear the fact that i am a euro fan everyone who knows me and yeah, we have been a whole nerd fest with with you two uh, on this podcast for oh yeah we have and that was nothing that was just uh, the tip of the iceberg we just kept yeah, uh, scraping the we were just surface skinning, in that yeah. yeah that was like a almost a two hour podcast um for those of you who haven't checked it out it's um it's out right now it isn't on 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 video like this one um but it is definitely uh, for all you two fans it's a good good overview of the band and their their not albums. even a deep dive it is a not even a deep dive yeah it's a very overview skimming through the band's uh the their albums uh, and and what what we thought about them and what our feelings were uh you know uh, especially our history about the band so uh recently as you know zan you know you two have been doing a lot of uh, virtual concerts uh on youtube uh which is something i really enjoy uh, at least they're in like keeping the fans engaged uh, along with you know the usual every year they come up with like re- uh, remastered albums and what not yeah. i think with the pandemic and all it was it was imperative and it was really enjoyable that they would bring up their old uh, shows yeah, I mean, was, and broadcast kind of them for me because it's like okay they still have a pulse right yeah exactly they did their last concert on a very cryptic note you know we'll be going away for a little while or a long time which then, which they which to be honest they they always do that they always kind of like pull the plug on yeah but i think that, the fan base was freaking out more this time for some reason because i mean they're they're sort of uh later on in their career right but did you uh, did you catch some of their recent interviews by the way no i did not Um, no i maybe a few months ago i remember i remember shayad tumse bhi share kiya tha maine remember the I one that where bono said that I, he okay i must have missed that one because the last interview i i was uh, i accessed was the edges interview on all that you can leave behind ke jo uh, anniversary version hai oh right right which which he did with with uh, with uh, joe right from bbc yes yeah. yeah, so i i watched that on their page that was the last one अच्छा खैर दिस वाज जो जो मैं जिस पर रेफर कर रहा हूं दैट वाज दैट वाज नॉट लाइक यू नो एन ऑफिशियल ऑफिशियल इंटरव्यू बट आई एम श्योर इफ इट वाज एन ऑफिशियल समवेयर इंटरव्यू वेयर यू नो बोनो मेंशनड अबाउट द नेक्स्ट लाइक ही वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट द नेक्स्ट एल्बम एंड um he said that they मैंने शायद मुझे याद आ रहा तुमसे मैंने शेयर किया था ही सेड दैट ही कुड गो ईदर वे इट कुड बी लाइक अ अ किक एस एफ यू रॉक एल्बम व्हिच व्हिच दे आर आल्सो थिंकिंग अबाउट or it could be a third uh, series of like i think songs of ascent yeah. uh, if of what they're dis- was, yeah, which is surprisingly the initial idea for this because that was the earliest song in this series Joe. oh did you listen to that by the way you, you know that song right yeah, i think they, they, they 360 in the 360 yes 360 before, songs of ascent just before breed started i remember ah, well, exactly that was i think the genesis of the whole concept and which will be ironic that if they release that at the end will bring that full circle but i'm almost kind of torn i want to see like a completely detached kick ass i don't give a shit kind of album as well which i to be honest the uh, songs of experience was a, a, a reflection of that it wasn't it wasn't an album where i would think they were overly conscious about what kind of music they're making it was more about what they were songs thinking of innocence i think they were very conscious as a band yes songs of innocence they and, and i think maybe the 
thesis of that album required them to be conscious because it was a reflection of their own past uh you know when they went to california first or when they listened to the ramones first or um uh, uh you know different experiences from that album yeah. i think but but they i but i do agree they went a little overboard in thinking how to make sure that they're relevant songs of experience was like a giant middle finger to that thought because i th- i think not just as an album but also as a live act uh for for that album doing that tour the they moment was epic exactly and then also they they made a conscious decision to not to play any of their hits like huge hits from the joshua tree which is not normal for a band to do uh mac fisto as well exactly and then the whole tour was like without your streets of no name without your bullet in the blue Because, sky but... i mean i think they exhausted it on the joshua tree tour like up- they did and you know okay we'll just play it out get it out of the way right exactly and then also uh, it gives gives me an indication that they they weren't relying on their hits on their live tour they were like you know what this is our album we really really, really believe in it you can i don't remember the last time i think last time maybe vertigo tour pe they really pushed their album because Three... uh, yeah you're you're right because on um kya kehte hain 360 on this on 360 they abandoned some of their songs in the second leg they abandoned breathe which i think is the second best song they ab- they abandoned moment of surrender yaar i mean the the song that made metallica cry man like seriously the like, moment of surrender maine bhi dobara recently i went back to it by the way it is it uh, is a top 10 all time song for all time song like it's probably one of their best songs this century they've written and it's unfortunately or maybe we already got to it because but that's on my list ha chalo khair we will we'll, we'll discuss okay, that but yeah, but the yeah. point was the point was they, stopped, they did they were very conscious they stopped believing in uh, what what was the name of the album mere dimag se nikal raha hai the no line on the horizon no line on either exactly <laughs> stop leaving in a lot of the songs like uh, unknown color just stop playing or uh, even magnificent like when, magnificent was a freaking good song it was a good yeah, song if, if they 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 got very conscious they got very conscious i think and then when they loaded all that that album in uh, you know the apple itunes debacle as it turns out it was i mean uske baad they got even more conscious so i want i mean i almost want to want them to completely stop caring about you know what people think of the music and the which i think oh, songs of experience was a uh, songs yeah. of experience was a direction in that that uh, yeah. uh, step in that direction so anyway uh, the point was ke i you know we've been listening uh, or watching their shows again they they released their live shows um as i think for a few days on youtube until mm-hmm. it went away and there were remastered versions of their famous uh, shows so i think they started out with the red rocks one then they went into the pop one uh 97 um uh, i think chota show pata nahi i'm missing out one show in between uh which show was it uh the the fourth one was the songs of innocence jo bhi recently aaya tha as acha isme beech mein chota wala tha to i think that was uh, uh the elevation tour wala tha i think beech mein jo aaya tha yep राइट तो एलिवेशन कहते हैं हां एलिवेशन टूर के इंडोर हां इंडोर रीना वाला जो टूर था तो 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 सो आई हैव बीन लिसनिंग टू दैट एंड देन यू नो दैट मेड मी गो बैक टू सम ऑफ द ओल्डर सॉन्ग्स दैट आई हैवन यू नो हैडन लिसन टू इन अ वाइल तो व्हाट आई थॉट अबाउट वाज डूइंग इज इज डूइंग एन एपिसोड ऑन द सॉन्ग्स ऑफ द बैंड व्हिच व्हिच रियली स्पोक टू मी पर्सनली फ्रॉम व्हाट एवर लाइक पर्सनल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वे मे बी पर्सनल circumstances or personal uh, experiences and and i immediately messaged zan ke yaar tum bhi apna lekar aao usme kyunki zan is probably the only youtube fan that i know who has listened to the band as deeply as i have so it will be it will be interesting so um as a side uh, note as a side note i saw the pop mart performance of mofo again uh-huh. after a very long time and i have to say that is a mount rushmore live performance top four Oh yeah, 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 absolutely outstanding. Because and also unfortunate in the sense that they completely butchered that in the album production wise. Production wise, the album was terrible. I think even I mean, even uh, even gone. I think they play really well live as opposed yeah, to what it was in the end. And please, the album, please, the, the, and please, how the biggest one? But it's, it's the, the biggest album. one, yeah. And I mean, obviously, they had booked the tour. That's why they completely botched the production. But it, that is a that is you know a missed chance. Oh, would have been a phenomenal album if produced right. If they if they go back to that album again and maybe play it live now, I would be very interested to see 
उसको आप कैसे रीड करते हैं हाउ प्ले दो सॉन्ग्स लाइव नाउ हाउ डू दे प्ले अफो लाइव हाउ डू दे प्ले लास्ट क्या नाम लास्ट नाइट ऑन अर्थ प्लीज आई थिंक प्लीज इट्स इज स्टिल अ वेरी यू टू सॉन्ग दे कैन प्रॉब्ली स्टिल गो बैक टू इट बट आई थिंक उसका भी बहुत उसमें बहुत चीजेस बहुत अरेंजमेंट वो अपडेट कर सकते हैं So this might be an easy one uh for me because this has this has started to speak to me more more recently than before I always loved this song but I guess I And by the way acha before you go there before you yeah. when you say speak to me so kya matlab what do you what do you read into that it's a subjective uh, sort huh. of interpretation right but when i say speaks to me it can mean many things like it speak to me uh, about something that has happened with my personal life and it's that song is almost like a prescription right yeah uh-huh. yeah and that song you know sort of helps me get through it or enhances it if something something happy right? right or it reminds me of a time in my life because you two songs especially i think more than any man i've listened to a lot of bands and you so have you but they're more close to being time capsules than any other band right oh yeah oh yeah capture a moment in time like when i listen to think about so for example zoo station it reminds me of a time in my life right or when i think about uh, how to dismantle and pound bomb again it reminds me of a different time of my life so i think a song that sort of fixes itself at a point in time of your life again speaks to me so right. that's another interpretation of it acha apna mic bhi kareeb kar lo i think taaki to aap sahi aap sahi aap sahi okay 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 you can go okay so i'll start with the uh, origin of the species it's a great song i i first fourth or fifth single of how to dismantle an atomic bomb and i think might be uh, after maybe sometimes we can make it might be the strongest the most lasting song on that album i think oh yeah oh yeah and the reason why it speaks to me is obviously the song is about fatherhood right generally speaking it's about fatherhood or being a parent and it speaks to me because i recently as you know became a parent right and it is it shows i mean it shows a very vulnerable side of parenthood you know right and it's just the parent saying yaar yeah, i'll do i'll give you everything you want except what you want which i disapprove of which is not good for you right it's it's mm-hmm. it shows a parent at a very vulnerable phase of their life oh yeah that and is beautiful and that, that that sort of speaks to me and i think it will even more to you because you have a daughter who's actually growing up and ha- developing more of a uh i, I think more of of self- more of a needs and wants structure yeah, yeah yeah some someone who has more agency as opposed to a you know a baby right so your daughter is probably going to develop into a more self sufficient person earlier than you know my son right so, right so i mean it speaks to me because it is showing a parent at a very vulnerable stage or in a frame of mind or state that's huh? mind. That's, a, that's that's very interesting that is very interesting um it, uh, that is a very good song and for anyone who's wondering we actually covered that song as part of that youtube uh, podcast yes. that we did, did we and i never release it oh yeah it is it is on the episode it's at the end of the episode okay okay, okay. Oh, yeah. um but we should definitely do like a video version of that cover i think yeah. that that is something that we owe. i think you nailed that cover because i thought that was a good cover man yeah. i thought that was a really good cover especially like we were just using like this i was using this mic and you were doing whatever you were doing in your laptop yeah. so it's a very yeah. basic production but i think the sound was yeah, pretty good yeah completely no frill production but i think it came together oh yeah absolutely and end product was quite good mujhe to maza aaya tha karne mein ha uh, absolutely i was i was okay. really proud of so it so what's too. your first okay my first is also a little personal and this one i told you about uh, uh quite recently i think last year um and this is a surprise this is a surprise so my song okay. is zuropa and uh, oh, okay 
and the reason why and zurup is not a song that you know uh, you can probably think ke yeah, koi koi deep meaning like you said koi parenthood or stuff koi koi is kind of aisi koi cheez nahi hai but what happened on critique on like consumerism and consume ha huh, exactly yeah. but what what happened recently uh, um someone who may not know and you you of course then you know uh, last year uh, um i was in, in a junction of my life when i was moving from one job to the other and it was a very uncertain period it was a very uncertain period as to like okay what what am i going to do next kya hone wala so there's a portion in the song which i remember to this day still i was uh, parked outside of a costco uh my wife had gone in to pick up the stuff like she was doing the shopping and i was in the car and i was parked outside and this song came up on my my car and i was listening to it just normally as i do so us mein jo portion aata hai when the song picks up and i have no compass so just start with that that portion when i start listening to it and i started like those lyrics started to register to me at that very moment i still remember goosebumps and i was like this is unbelievable how accurately it is describing to me the state of mind i am right now and a song which you know is 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 not is not i wouldn't expected that song to be uh, to give me that feeling It There's would have been like lines in that refrain, like uncertainty can be your guiding light. Oh, absolutely! Like mean. the whole thing was, uh, yeah. and I have no compass, and I have no map, and I don't know, uh, yeah, and, and I don't know the limits, the limits of what I've got, right? So, what sub things are like? So, and I have no religion, I have no, uh, uh, and I have, uh, and I don't know what's what. Uh, I, 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 and I don't know what's what, and I don't know the limits or limits of what we got. So, uh, exactly. So, uh, it's gonna be alright. Ah, uh, and don't worry, baby, it's gonna be alright. Uh, uncertainty could be a guiding light. Yes. Oh, that's. I was like, I was like, damn. I was like, this is amazing. This was something that I, I probably was meant to it. I remember when the song was finished. I was. I was immediately messaged you. So I remember. I said, Zain. I I just listened to this and this song has an absolute new meaning to me and I could imagine remember uh the Boston wala show jo tha elevation tour mein where Bono before he plays in a little while he talks about how the song was like about uh, a breakup and moving on from a girlfriend which turned into a gospel song because Joey Ramone heard was was heard. it was the last song that he heard and then when i listened to that song from that prism when he was describing it i was like fuck this is this is a song about losing your life or something like it's a, such a gospelesque you know feel to it so uh, it, i knew jab jab mere sath ye zurupa wala incident hua na to i was like okay this is how maybe bono would have felt when he wrote a song completely different about something else and then when it positioned itself in someone else's life then it became or zuropa as you know in in the songs of innocence kator ke andar abhi recently jo maine dekha it was a snippet in that and wo usne snippet bono used that snippet to describe uh, um the struggles of uh, immigration and refugee which also in that context it also makes sense right okay and i have no compass and i have no map and wo jo bachcha bechara like yeah, the, yeah, the kid yeah, that yeah, died yeah, on the exactly. on the beach to wo us reference mein right so it was just you know un- unbelievable so okay what's your next song okay so mera ye jo next song hai it's kind of sort of out of left of like it's out of the left field it is from zuropa again but it's some days are better than others whoa so that's, okay that's a song that i've been I I listen to more often than any other song on that album weirdly enough it's not really? my favorite song it's a good song yes yeah. but I listen to the song the most it's my favorite song on that album is probably stay or or zuropa itself but th- that's the song I listen to the most and there's no deep meaning or there don't no deep resonance with me it's not, uh-huh. it's not like yeah it hits like the chord uh-huh. the reason why it sort of jives with me or some uh, sort of resonates with me is because It's the most mundane song that he probably has written, right? Right. Like some days are sloppy, some days are uh, sloppy, whatever. Right. But if you piece it all together, it's in a way it's like Seinfeld. It's a song about nothing. Uh-huh. At the same time, when it all comes together, it shows you you know you can make art out of the most mundane things, you know. And at the end of the day, there's a hope, there's hope behind it too. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You know, someday you look for Jesus and and his mother. Some days are better than others. It's, right, right, right. It's a song about you know. just keep moving or turn over a new leaf 
it's it can be interpreted as a song you know you had a probably had a shitty day but you can turn over a new leaf so it's a motivational song in that way i don't think it was intended to be but it does was, that take you back to a specific time time uh, zone in your life it takes me back uh, well right that after, takes you back to johar by the way so the the time i started listening to a song a lot was when i was working to a like two jobs and one of my jobs was actually working at a supermarket and i was working in the meat section there there's a lot of uh, a lot of things going on there that i wouldn't want to live through but mm-hmm. on my breaks i used to listen i i was heavily into zuruba at that time i mean i guess we're, we still are but right. i used to listen to this song a lot during my breaks for some reason and it's not because of some you know big reason or that yeah i need to get my get through this day you just uh, no the, it just sort of it I became kind of a, a ritual for you became, yeah it became a, a very ritualistic yes i mean like if you look at actung baby that's sort of emblematic of what was going on in 1990 1991 right. it became becomes a time capsule from that era for me zurupa is a time capsule from like few years ago when i was working two jobs and i was sort of barely getting through so it, it it's a reminder but it's also you know a way to remind me that you know you got through it mm-hmm. you can easily turn over new leaf so i think it's that song it resonates with me still does i still listen to it a lot and um and there's this weirdness about it like that solo that that sort of buzz saw kind of solo in the middle uh. it's it's so like odd like that the song zurupa as a as an album is so odd but it's beautifully odd like it's but you know what's odd about this this okay remember the u2 episode i keep going back to hmm. that was one of the solos i played for you for you to guess and you couldn't guess it no i didn't i think i did guess it did you I I we have to go back to the tape I I, I guess that song I guess that solo Because maine us yaad aa raha hai maine us solo play kiya tha usme Because I thought that would stump you because it was such a there's no solo in that album but that's kind of like the, the closest you can get to a solo yeah, Exactly exactly but it's just so weird and bizarre in some so many aspects like if you look at that or the mono, mono, monotone or like sort of monotonous rap in uh, in numb no right like complete complete falsetto and like uh, in, lemon huh It's a, such a weird album. It's such a bizarre album. I mean, it shouldn't work, but it does, and that's right. what I love about it. And you know why it does work? Which will take good will be a good segue into my next song. Mm-hmm. I think the album works because of songs like "Stay," um, and that's my next song. And there's that's no an particular reason. There's no particular exactly, and that that there's no particular reason for me to you know be attached to the song. The only reason why I'm attached to the song is I remember my A levels kid in Jabhat Mohre there, and. uh i used to have that silver mp3 player i don't know if you remember then so uh i remember walking out of our a levels um ha ha ek thoda sa ek screen bhi thi choti ha exactly choti screen just, just to give you a small story on that uspe jab maine zoo session suna tha i thought there was a first 200 tha mujhe bhi tha wo 200 session exactly my my first exactly i thought there was a song was 200 station yes yes exactly wo to khair mere sath bhi tha maine mujhe bhi lagta tha ki wo 200 station ne gaane ga raha hu uh but i remember listening uh, coming out of the uh, my, our school uh where we uh, com- went for our a levels and uh it was uh, at night and it was the at the end of the farewell the whole thing na to waisi bada ek emotional period hota hai you're saying goodbyes to your friends and you don't know if you're going to meet them next or where where their lives are going to take them and, and where your life is going to take you and i remember walking out and i think my, i if if i remember correctly i think i was probably traveling by bus or a rickshaw ya meri apni gaadi thi i don't quite remember um but i remember listening to that song and then forever that song became attached to that feeling when i was leaving you know my a levels so uh every time i go back to that song it just takes me there although it's a beautiful song and um it, the whole you know which is why i think zuropa as an album kind of has it it acts as a weight you know it's like a zuropa uh, as an album is like a balloon and songs like uh, stay in that album acts as, as a weight that keeps you grounded it yeah. basically keeps them uh, what's it what's it called uh, anchored uh, yeah. and keeps that u2 identity i think this song is kind of like that identity so second song with me uh, for me would be stay what about yours yeah. number 3 Okay so my number 3 song and I don't know which one I should go with first 
but yeah, I've already talked about Moment of Sand. That's one of the songs I have, right? Okay. And it's not because of the subject matter in the song, it's because of the feeling associated with it. Because I remember that album came very soon after I left uh, Canada. It came out in 2009, uh, and I left for Canada in January 2010. सोलो पार्ट I remember that. Or uske solo ke slider ke liye bhi mere paas uh, it's it's like a you know when it's like a short glass almost. Ha ha. Jo mujhe apne school se tha ki usme mila tha frosh week wagaira jo bhi maine attend kiya tha. So uh-huh. I used that short glass kind of thing to play this to play the slide. The slide ha. Huh? On the guitar because that piano interlude leading into the solo is one of my favorite musical moments ever. It's just It's a beautiful. Like calling on in that is just amazing, right? It's amazing. So it it's that moment or that time is forever going to be associated with that song, which is why it talks to me even to, to this day. Mai jab bhi sunta hu I remember that uh, it was like that uh, Gibson Explorer shaped type of guitar that uh-huh. had no place on that song because you're not going to play that song with that guitar. With that type of guitar, ha. Huh? Yeah. But us bande ke paas wohi tha and he used to he, that guy used to be into like Kiss and stuff and he was uh-huh. so that again that guitar was completely out of place or of course that strap was too but i remember playing it and enjoying it so that's my song and you know it's a art story behind why my uh, it's also on my list uh, uh this song and and just going back to that album you remember when that album came out it was pitch dark in johar light gave you the and i had recently I downloaded I think I we heard it the first time Parmal together ha huh. yes, exactly the I think yes. when it when it released uske 5 minute baad wo uske kya kehte hain use bootlegs and all bootlegs wagaira wo online aa gaye the humne kitne bootlegs download kare yaar there's no no amount of toba I can do to to erase that guna that we did bootleg was just to wo usme bootleg mein we downloaded that album and I remember listening to it together we were listening to it together ek ek karke ek karke acha ye wala gana ye wala gana to moment of surrender की ब्यूटी उसका स्टूडियो वर्जन नॉट अच्छा यूट्यूब के मोस्ट सॉन्ग्स आई लव द लाइव वर्जन मोर देन द स्टूडियो वर्जन नॉट बिकॉज द स्टूडियो वर्जन आर बैड इट्स जस्ट लाइव वर्जन आर सो मच मोर बेटर तो लाइव बैंड राइट तो मोमेंट ऑफ सैंड इज वन ऑफ दोज सॉन्ग आई कैन लिसन टू बोथ वर्जन I can be equally attached to the song and feel, you know, really uh, behind it, if, even if it was a story version. But one thing I really enjoyed and that caught my attention was the live version where Bono adds that rap into the end. Yes. And I remember I was like, "What the hell? Ye hai kya chiz? What is this rap?" And I remember looking through. Yeah. 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 Y
it's that Mind solo doesn't belong it, yeah that solo doesn't belong anywhere in any song anywhere written in the world that solo belongs with that song so uh, i don't know if, i don't know if you've listened to that uh, song exploder episode on uh, um uh, ek ek uh, show hai uh, it's a podcast song exploder where you do bono and the talk about how how they created this song i don't know if you haven't listened to it then you I must तो वो बहुत जबरदस्त लाइक फिफ्टीन मिनट्स में वो बताते हैं कि हाउ डिड एज कम अप विद दैट सॉन्ग एंड एज डिस्क्राइब्स इट हिम सेल्फ कि मैं इस तरह से स्टार्ट हुआ एंड देन इट क्वेंट फ्रॉम दिस दिस इज बेसिकली देट डिस्क्राइब द होल सॉन्ग तो द होल ब्यूटी अराउंड इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी यू नो मेजमराइजिंग टू मी वेर एज जस्ट केम अप विद दैट दैट मेन रेफ एंड देन यूज यू नो लैरीज ड्रम लूब्स टू क्रिएट दैट सॉन्ग एंड देन क्रिएटेड एन एग्जिट एंड देन while he was playing it bono come comes up with that ting 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 that 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 filler part in the middle uh and then Which based they on they use very well in the middle of the solo as well with the oh, synth or xylophone ha ha exactly when during the solo yes exactly so uh, and then bono describes that k that song had a feeling where he it, it was about rage it was about rage and 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 when he talked about rage he went back to where he grew up so he that was a, an example of a song where they created the melody first and then uske upar lyrics dali unhone usually ulta hota hai ki you come yeah, up with the lyrics exactly. and then you come up with the melody right afterwards so uh, you know hands down cedarwood road for anybody who hasn't listened to that song and the songs that we've discussed uh, on, on over the course of this episode do check it out i think there's so much to talk about i think i had a few more uh songs to cover but we'll definitely find another time to to, to yeah, touch we'll on do, those we'll do we'll do an addendum to this addendum to this one as well so um and another you know reason reason number 5 billion of like mm. whatever number of reasons to listen to this band to uh, this band uh and um yeah uh, we'll be back with another one and uh, take care guys thank you so much